hello everyone welcome to this video and in this video we are going to learn about how to set up a drone ci server with github so let's get started so uh, this is the vlog i have written about how to set up a drone ci server with github i will give the link of this vlog in the description below so you guys it will be easy for you guys to uh, see the uh, text format of what i have done so yeah let's get started first of all what we have to you have to do is that you have to create an oauth application from your github account and you need to generate a client id and a client secret this we will this we will be using to generate our docker container so here and drone ci drone ci is totally a docker based ci server so we will be uh, drone ci server will be hosted in a uh, particular docker container so uh, after that uh, go to the server where you will be uh, deploying a drone ci server and run this command open ssl rand iphone hex 16 so this will generate a, a secret uh, uh, code which we will be using to uh, which we will be using to communicate with uh, uh, communicate our runner uh runner can be sss runner or a docker runner with our server so store this file uh, securely after that what we will do is that we will pull a docker image uh, docker image of a drone and we will just run this command so we will run this command and after running this command we will uh, be having a container up which is running in an 80 port and 443 port so uh, let's see what this command says so it says here docker run and the volume this volume is mapped of inside drone slash data and yeah here it has a env drone environment client this is an uh, client id that we have generated here so this is the client id and the client secret this is the client secret here you can have a client secret and here a drone rpc secret here you have to give this this secret file to the server so yeah so here you have to replace uh, this with a with a secret that we have generated and here we we have to give the drone server host so give the host host name of your uh, server host name of your server or public ip of your server where uh, the drone ci server is set up here uh, it you will need to configure uh, the, the do, configure your host name here while you use you create the OAuth application here uh, application name is drone your home page url you will need to give an a name of your so domain name of your server so and here it's a authorization callback url same as domain name slash login so that's it and after running this you will get uh, you will get an you will get a docker container running and here the drone server port is either http or https so uh, http is non-encrypted and https is an encrypted and it is secure and here now we given the container name a drone and we will be using this drone and uh, drone uh, dot dot one tag image uh, for running in container so um, let's see why i will show you how i have done so first of all i have uh, i have created a light shell uh, for often ubuntu 2 gb ram one virtual cpu and 60 gigs of uh, ssd so first of all you go here and after you going there you can also do it locally but i have done in in the it i have created a light cell in an aws so yeah i hope the font is visible and let me ssh and the username is ubuntu at the rate the ip is this and it should say is permission denied so yeah let me uh, go to uh, download download so uh, so that's 
so yeah so now i am inside the docker con i am inside the light shell ubuntu server where i am going to set up a draw uh, set up a drone ci server so first of all what you have to do is that you have to create an oauth application with the github and as i have shown you here go to the settings and in your github account and go to the developer options and here you will need to create an OAuth application create a new OAuth application and give all the names and register the application i have done already so i am not doing it right now so this is my OAuth application so yeah and after that go to the drone uh, after that go into this server and what you need to do is that you need to uh, you need to run this command you need to run this command and this will generate the secret this secret key you need to store this secret key safely somewhere in a notebook i have already done configure so i'm not saving it and after that what you need to do is that you need to run this command you need to you need to pull the docker image and after that you need to run this command run this command and replace the all these environment variable with the respective values that i have told you uh, just a minute ago and after that you will um, in this server then you will see a docker container running so this is so i have done it two weeks ago so it's saying it is up and running from two weeks two weeks so here it is it says uh, it is uh, docker content name is and drone and it's uh, image name is drone drone uh, dot dot one and it's running on 80 port and the ip of this server is let me show you the ip the ip of the server is this and i have mapped this ip with a with a, a route 53 uh, with route 53 a domain name uh, in this aws service so after uh, so i will go to the domain name so here so yeah so this is the domain name so let me drone take on technology.com.np so this is a domain name and here uh, you have i have already done so uh, yeah it will it will uh, automatically preload my account so whenever when you do did, did it for do it for the first time so it will uh, gives you something like this it will give you an authentication page with your github credentials so you will you need to you need to sign sign in with a github account and you will need to sync all your repository to the uh, all your repository to the to the drone ci server interface so yeah i don't know my internet is a little slow today uh yeah so here you need to log in with your accounts i have already done it so i'm not doing it right now so yeah so this is it and you need to sync you need to sync after you logged in with a github credential you need to sync and it will load all your github repositories owned by you who to this uh, drone ci server ui then uh, what you need to do is that you need to activate the sir you just need to activate activate the repository in which you want to uh, uh, implement the ci cd with drone so just click activate and save and here it here is a, a dot drone dot yml is a configuration file which you will need to uh, need, need to which you need to write create in your project uh, home directory and it should be pushed in a github as well so that uh, whenever the drone ci clones your repository from a github and it will get dot drone dot yml file and it will run all the test cases and you have written in the drone drone yml file in this server so so it is an important so that's it 
uh, how we set up uh, set up our uh, drone ci server in uh, linux and you can set up in windows and in mac uh, and you can see the documentation of a drone ci uh, yeah that's it and thank you for watching and i hope this video was informative and if you guys are new to the channel please subscribe to the channel and support me to more it will motivate me to make these kinds of video videos uh, for you guys so yeah uh, thank you for watching this video have a good day bye bye